it's Alicia. I've made it to a week and one day since my surgery where I had my teeth extracted and 10 mini implants put in snap indentures top and bottom. So if you followed my story from the beginning, um, you would know that it's been a little rough and less than ideal. I've been dealing with a very bad fit of these teeth which has been affecting my opinion on a lot of things and my emotions and the healing process probably. Um, it's not for lack of trying to get them fixed. I've been to the office two times for them to try to adjust things to make them just fit better. And I go back on Thursday. Today is Tuesday. So after tomorrow, I go back the next day and that will be the third time I go there to try to have the top taken out. So the last time I went, they were able to get the bottoms out and I was able to see how that feels and I assume that's the normal way for it to feel and that's how the top should feel. I've just been getting a little anxious because um, I can feel that the, the lower one has more movement now that I've been eating a little more and using it more. Um, so I can just feel it that it's, it's not really loose but it moves a little bit. It has some give and the top one doesn't. The top one I feel like is just really in there and uh, I didn't know this, I didn't remember this part of the surgery, but my husband said they brought him into the surgery room as they were still trying to take the teeth on and off of the implants while I was sitting there like getting gassed up in La La Land, apparently. I must have been a little bit in and out of it, even though I thought I was conscious and awake the whole time. But I do remember them bringing him in. I must have just thought it was my lowers, but he said that the nurse was having a very hard time and she was having to really rip them out then they'd go do something, try to adjust it, get them back in, have to rip them back out several times, in and out several times. And it was really hard. He said it looked bad. So that might be why the top was so... It's like jammed in there. I almost wonder if it's actually secured in there crookedly because my main complaint at this point, if these are temporary and I'm really going to get new ones made between four to six weeks of healing then my complaint is just that these need, they don't fit right. And I know that you have to be patient with your bite and everything. Um, but I'll show you what I'm talking about specifically. Um, the, the lowers, I feel like things look a little more normal when I'm talking. It's when I'm not talking that I notice it and that it's just more obvious. I haven't been able to fully shut my jaw since the surgery. And I'm sure there's things they can adjust to make me be able to shut my jaw. And that's that's my goal on Thursday, is that they'll be able to adjust this enough so I can close my mouth, like, in a natural way. It's, yeah. So if I just, like, shut my mouth without trying to shut my lips, this is what it looks like. And it probably doesn't look too bad to you. But... My lips usually used to shut by themselves. So um, I'll try to show you, it's kind of hard. I think you can tell with the top, it's very uneven. Yeah, you can see, and it's even, I didn't put lipstick on today because I wanted you to be able to see my mouth pretty well and my lips. Um, because this is in there so crooked, it's like affecting my speech and how my lips are looking. You see this? It's like quite uneven. And then the bottom, I've noticed too. Um, seems to be not quite even either. And I feel like when I'm talking, you're seeing the lower, the low bottom of those lower teeth. So I really do think if these just get pushed down for now, that that would really help. And then I'll... I mean, I'm, I want to get another set made. If they offer me that option, yes, I do. Because some of the things I'm seeing in here structurally just make me feel like I'm not really sure what they can adjust. Like how much they can bend it and like, this is uneven. So I'm not sure if when they stuck it in there, it got stuck that way and now it's not fully snapped in or if it's just the way it was made. So we'll see. Thursday I have to be able to tolerate them ripping it out and I guess I'm just worried because <laughs> I'm just worried it's in there wrong and that they're gonna rip it out and like pull an implant out that's really what I'm worried about like I'm trying not to think of the worst possible option but anyway it's been one week as of yesterday I've been feeling a lot better it took about that long a whole week I mean like 
some of what I thought was swelling up here is actually this upper denture being pushed so far up that it's like swelled up up here, but not here. And, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And I used to have somewhat of a crooked smile. So now I don't, which is nice. Like, my top lip is going up all the way on both sides where it didn't used to do that. So that would be nice if this gives me a little extra upper lip support. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to know until Thursday, but I've been able to like eat somewhat a little more normally. I'm chewing pretty normally, but I'm favoring this side, which then makes the uppers and lowers a little sore because I can't chew very well on this side. There's not enough room. Like, because it's so uneven. I feel like that's all I keep saying is it's uneven. It's uneven. We know it's uneven. Okay. Um, so physically though, the pain, the pain wasn't always the issue. More of like the, the swelling was what I was concerned with. So I kept trying to take, I would keep that under control with ibuprofen. I haven't needed any narcotic pain medication at all after. And I don't, I mean, I'm sure it'd be nice to have if someone, you know, if you want that, but if you're scared of the pain afterwards, I'd say it's manageable without. So I alternated Tylenol and Ibuprofen and today is the first day I've been taking a lot less. I haven't had to keep remembering like on time. I'm feeling a lot better. Um, what else? Emotionally this week, it's hard enough to make the decision to let your teeth have to come out. <laughs> allow them to take your teeth out and um really at any age but I mean when you're young I guess it sucks but then again like I said 10 years ago when I started losing my teeth and had my first partial made I knew this was inevitable I knew it was going to happen but there's no mentally preparing yourself you can try to prepare yourself but until you're sitting there and your teeth are gone like I mean I'm sure it's probably easier to deal with if you really love the teeth that they put in but for me I haven't had the oh wow moment yet where I've seen my teeth and my smile and I'm like so in love and crying and like I crave that. I crave being able to come on here and be like, oh my god, look, it's amazing. You know, and I mean, they're not bad. I'm not, they're not bad. Like I said, I mean, the bad things can sometimes like overshadow the good. I'm really feeling much more positive today. I feel like myself, got myself together. I feel more like my energy's coming back and it's only been a week. So, I mean, for this kind of surgery, that's not bad. And, um, no, it's not bad at all. The worst of it is going through it, <laughs> getting that surgery done. That's the worst of it. The recovery sucks for the first week. I don't know how it's going to be after this week, but I'm assuming it's going to keep getting better. You know, the worst of it's over. We made it through the worst of it. Thank God. And what I would recommend is, um... Try to have as many supportive people in your life as possible. You need people that are going to both tell you the truth and build you up when you need it. Because, you know, I like to know what they look like to other people. I do. But it still sucks when you want to be excited about something and it was supposed to be great and then it's not. So that's mentally something you should prepare yourself for that I didn't want to prepare myself for. I wanted to assume that they were going to be perfect, you know. But it's not always like that. Not Especially not on the first try. Then again, I'm kind of like, if they do thousands of these all the time, like, why is mine so uneven? Like, can you really... They're angled down. So yeah, anyways, I'm curious to see now what they say on Thursday about this and let them know my main concern is not being able to shut my jaw and I want that problem fixed Thursday. I hope that's not too much to ask. I really hope that's not too much to expect. I don't know at this point. As long as I can get them both out, you would think they'd be able to fix most things. Um, my lisp is still there, but when I'm eating food now, I feel like I'm eating it more normally, whereas in the beginning when I was trying to learn how to do it, it would all get stuck in the, the sides. And I can see why people with regular dentures that don't have them snapped in would have problems because even with these, if food gets under the wrong way, I can feel it give and like pop up a little bit because it's somewhat loose, because they did try to adjust it, so they're going to have to keep doing it. And with the lowers, I really want them pushed down, if not, like, made shorter, but just because you can see so far down, it makes me think they're just too far up, and that they put them back down a little bit, and that would be nice. So I guess I'll just show you more up close how they look at the moment. 
And another thing I noticed is these little translucent areas in the front teeth. They're like ridges. I don't know why that's there unless it's supposed to make it look realistic. I don't like it very much though. And you can see how much gum you can see on this side when I smile really big compared to not much on this side. And they do get stuff stuck in them, just like real teeth, if anyone's curious. Um, and I could suck water through them, so I think they're just like real teeth. Um, how do you there's... look less loose? Beautiful. Pretty. All right, I think it's time to go. My children are barging in, but that's my one week and a day update. I will probably update after my appointment Thursday. And if anyone has any advice or anything I could say to my dentist or anything I should keep in mind, anything that will help me be more patient with the process, that would be great. Otherwise, I appreciate everybody that watches and comments and just supports me. If you want to follow this and see how this turns out, please subscribe. And thanks for watching.